Hey everyone, on this episode of Dad Sews, we show you the easiest project you can make on your serger, plus it is the perfect gift for your special man or special lady. Stay tuned. Dad Sews! Dad Sews! Dad Sews! Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for the latest episode of Dad Sews. I truly appreciate you stopping by. Hey, don't forget, click subscribe below. That way you're notified every time there's a new tutorial, funny video, list, or epic fail made for your enjoyment. All right, well, the fall season is upon us. Hey, where did summer go? Did anybody see summertime? Because I feel like I missed it. But fall is here, and you know that means one thing to us guys, football. Well, that was, that was pitiful. I do apologize. All right, well, we're gonna make two projects and the two fabrics we're gonna use are this Day of the Dead Star Wars fabric that I kind of fell in love with at the fabric store and our football centric fabric. Well, it's gonna be for my wife because she is a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, boo. And I'm gonna make something out of this. Now, we have two projects. One is for pre-game and one is for during the game. Our pre-game project is a cornhole set. That's right, we're gonna be making cornhole bags for your cornhole game. And because you can find so many different team fabrics or fabrics of any genre that you like, maybe you want a Doctor Who cornhole set. Think about it, throwing the TARDIS into a hole in which it disappears, what could be more Doctor Who than that? But anyway, we're gonna make a cornhole set out of this fabric. Now, regulation cornhole squares are six by six and between 14 and 16 ounces. I know that it says use duck canvas, but this will work just fine unless you're playing the pros. And if you're playing the pros, what are you doing watching this? Go practice your cornhole. All right, and then this fabric, we're gonna be making some awesome scented hand warmers for during the game. You know that cold is setting upon us, and when you're watching football, there's nothing worse than that shiver. So you need some hand warmers and some hot chocolate. The hot chocolate's on you, but I'm gonna help you out with the other. All right, let's get to cutting our fabric, and then we will sew up this quick and easy project with our serger. All right, well, we're just gonna do our hand warmer first, because after you've mastered this, that cornhole bag ain't nothing but a chicken wing which you've already eaten if you're outside tailgating. All right, now you just wanna make sure that you line everything up right. I wanna make sure I get my C-3PO and my R2-D2 lined up just right. So you might have a little hangover on your fabric there. Hangover? We are pre-gaming. All right, once you get that done, you're just gonna put it wrong sides together and move up to the serger, all right? I'm gonna leave the excess on here. We can always trim it off later. All right, lift your foot and start surging. Now my wife and I love football and we're a bit competitive. Uh, she's a Steelers fan and I'm a Patriots fan. And when we had our first son, Ollie Mack born, all right, what you're gonna do is you could just leave the tail on there and you're just gonna turn it and sew another side. We're sewing three sides, all right? Very easy. Well, when we had Ollie Mack, we decided to bet the baby when the Patriots played the Steelers. And whoever won the game would win him as a fan <laughs> for the first year of his life, which meant wearing the gear of the winning team. And of course, the Patriots prevailed and I won Ollie Mack as a team member, which put me over in the house because at the time there were two girls and three boys. So we had three Pats fans and two Steelers fans. Now there's another girl in my house and I don't even care about sports because I'm being overrun by children. All right, we're gonna go and do our third side here. All right. And we're just trimming off the excess as we go. That's what's awesome about the surgeon. All right, there's different things you can do when it comes to the last side of your hand warmer. I'm gonna trim that away and trim these little tails. And we'll get to what to do with the tails at the end of the project. All right, so we trim those away. 
Now, there's a couple different ways you could go. You can serge a little bit of the edge that you want closed. That's a good idea. You can leave it all open, but that makes it a little harder to serge. The problem I have is when you're using a serger, it's really hard to leave your needle down and lift the material and turn it on the corner. I just haven't had that much luck with it yet. So because this is a small hand warmer, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this whole opening. All right, now what we're gonna do is fill this with rice. You wanna grab the brown rice, the really healthy rice from your pantry. Why? Well, because once you use up all the healthy rice, then whoever makes food in your house is forced to give you the tasty white rice that we all know we want. All right, so when you're filling this up, be careful not to overfill it. You're gonna to wanna to fill it less than what you think is right because you don't want rice in your serger, right? So you wanna make sure you leave plenty of room to serge. All right, now the other thing we're gonna do is you can take some scented oil. You can use essential oil if that's your bag. I just got the cheap scented stuff from Walmart and I'm gonna put it right into the hand warmer inside the rice. And the reason that's great is every time you microwave these before you go out to a football game, you're gonna have beautiful scented hand warmers. My wife's really gonna dig this. This is lavender for her. I would probably prefer cinnamon, maybe from a bottle of Fireball. I don't know, but we're gonna do it that way. All right, now you're gonna wanna press it down or you can use your trusty Wonder Clips uh, to hold it in place, but I think this is small enough that I can just press it down. Lift up your foot and we're gonna surge that seam right here. All right, be sure to get all that rice pushed back. All right, I think we're ready. Here we go. All right, didn't hit any rice. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that, trim the excess. All right, now what do you do with the ends of your serger thread? Lots of people ask me that. Well, what I like to do is use a dab of super glue right on the corner of each one. A lot of people tie off their knots, but I get these big fat sausage fingers and I'm just not good at tying the knots. And some people use a special glue, fabric glue that goes on the end of it. I found that super glue, which you probably already have in your house, works fine. And actually it's a really firm corner that it makes. So that's my tip. If you don't have any fabric glue, just use a dab, dab of super glue on each corner. This came out really good. The face got centered on both sides. All right, I'm gonna snap my fingers and we're gonna have a Steelers bag for my wife's cornhole game. Oh, there it is. All right, I love the way this turned out. Now, this is not regulation size or regulation weight. I have four kids. They're gonna destroy this thing no matter how strong I make it. But again, regulation is six by six between 14 and 16 ounces. That's 15 ounces if you're doing math, kids. But I think my wife is gonna love this and she's definitely gonna love this lavender scented hand warmer. Mm, it smells like I'm at the spa. Hey, here's another idea. You can cut a big U out of your fabric and make one of those warmers that goes around your neck and really relaxes you at the end of the day. Hey, I think this is a great idea. It's perfect for the man in your life or the lady. Maybe these would be great for your guy if he's going hunting. There's so many things you can do. Hey, scent it with deer urine. There you go. There's a tip from Dad Sews. A hand warmer with deer urine. Boy, I gotta put that into my clip at the beginning of the show. All right, thanks guys for joining me for the latest episode of Dad Sews. Don't forget, click subscribe, stop by dadsews.com for more videos, tutorials, and fails. Hey, I'm going to be at the Fredericksburg Quilting and Sewing Expo at the end of September. Would you like to stop by and see Dad Sews? Check out my website for information on the booth I'm gonna be at, and I'd be happy to meet you guys. All right, thanks again. Don't forget, share with your friends, and so fail, repeat. The hand warmer with deer urine. This production is brought to you by the Plaid Dad Blog Podcast Network. For more information, visit us at plaiddadblog.com.